It's certainly natural to lose a few hairs here and there, but for some, hair loss can be truly severe. Hey doctors, for the past four years I've noticed a big change in my hairline, kind of gone from here back to about there, and pretty self-conscious about it. I think it's held me back personally and professionally. I think it definitely helped me to have a full head of hair. Doctors, is there anything you guys can do? Well, Zach happens to be backstage in our procedure room getting a hair transplant right now by Dr. Jeffrey Ronsley from Ronsley Plastic Surgery here in Los Angeles. But before we check in with them, I do want to show everyone the process leading up to the actual grafting of the hair, which is happening as we speak. Now, first things first, the patient is marked and then injected. Then a strip of hair from the back of the head, that is what is harvested, and then it's sewn back up. And then what they do is they take that strip, it's processed into these little individual grafts by the technicians. And of course, that's obviously a time-consuming process. Then that saline you're seeing is injected into the scalp area. That's designed to stretch out the skin. Then each little site in the scalp where the grafts will take place are settled. And then those individual grafts, once they're ready, they're individually placed into the scalp. And that's what we're seeing be done on Zach right now in the procedure room. So I, I don't know how far you are into the procedure, Dr. Ronsley, but how are things going? Things are going great. Uh, you know, Zach is a 26-year-old gentleman who's ha had moderately severe hair loss. And so we're transplanting 2,000 grafts uh, in him today. So 2,000 of those individual hair grafts. Right. Just like gardening. Wow. And, and so this is obviously a procedure all told, hey, how long would that take to do 2,000? Well, today it'll be around five to six hours. Okay. And, and that's then pretty average. You mentioned Zach is 26. A lot, of, a lot of people suffer from hair loss. Who would be a good candidate for this type of procedure? Well, you know, uh, almost anybody would be a good candidate in the sense that if you're aged between 25 and 85, I've had old, older patients have it done, uh, it makes a huge impact on your life. I mean, hair makes people happy, and it's a, a really a powerful technique. And but we it, hear about this for men, but can women get this done as well? For the right woman, yes. Uh, female hair loss is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It can be more global, uh, such that the hair that we would transplant is not very healthy. So you have, have to be evaluated by a physician to really see if you, this is something that's worthwhile. And then if you continue to have receding of the hairline after you have a transplant, do you have to then have additional? Well, it's very important. I'm always thinking about it, how things are going to look in the future, because we're always just a snapshot in time. Um, so planning is very important to make something that today that's going to look natural and good forever. People do, though, come back 10, 15 years later and have uh, touch-ups, which most people can do. And, and Zach, you're not feeling anything, are you? Nope, nothing. So yeah. after this, does Zach, does he go on antibiotics? How long is recovery from something like this? Right. I put everyone on uh, uh, antibiotics uh, before and after surgery for a few days. Um, pain's not very painful. Uh, it's not painful now. Most people have a little bit of a headache the night uh, of the surgery, but afterwards, uh, really not much problem. I see him back at a week, take his sutures out, and then really don't see him back for another uh, six months until the, the new hair is there. So six months from now is when Zach would expect to see a more full he head of hair? You got it. Amazing. Right well, we're going to let Dr. Ronsley finish up back there, so hang in there, Zach. <laughs> and I do want to, while we have everyone paying attention to this, show some before and after pictures that Dr. Ronsley provided of how you may wow. expect to look wow. after Great. the hair transplant. Yeah. And certainly a, a significant difference there. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. and, and as Dr. Ronsley alluded to, I mean, this is a big problem for men and, and for women. Mm -hmm. I mean, statistically, men at 35, two-thirds of them have some degree of hair th thinning. At 50, 85% of men have more significant thinning. So... And this is an option. It's a great option. There are option. a lot of options out there, and this happens to be one of them.